order to save your love, you have to stop the expansion of the universe. Hi, we're Feral Cat Den. Um, I'm the technical lead, uh, Jeremy Abel. Hi, I'm Evan Anthony, the creative lead. We're a small indie studio in Brooklyn, New York, and we're making our first game. We've been working on it for about the past four years, and we're excited to show it to you. Yeah, we're working on a game called Genesis Noir, which is set before, during, and after the Big Bang. In order to save your love, you have to stop the expansion of the universe. You'll uh, destroy stars, create black holes, meet humans, uh, let's see what that looks like. Let's take a look at the trailer. So yeah, that was the trailer. Uh, I gotta say my favorite part of our trailer is the music. We're super fortunate to work with Skillbard, a team of musicians and composers and sound designers in London who uh, are just so phenomenally talented. They've been doing really great indie animation and now they've been collaborating with us on bring, creating a jazzy noir soundtrack for all of Genesis Noir. And we're excited to show off the demo where um, the music really comes to the forefront and it's a key part of the interaction where you get to improvise with a, a jazz musician. Um, so let's go to the demo. So every level in Genesis Noir starts with no man jumping into the Big Bang expanding universe and looking for a clue that might help him undo it. So uh, as you can imagine, the universe is a big, a pretty big space. So we, you know, no man doesn't always know where to look, but um, for instance, in this interaction, no man starts listening to the radio, the cosmic radio waves. It's a little interaction where you move this little slider and you listen at for uh, harmonious, harmonious sounds. sounds. At the end, you That's pick up on a specific kind of melodic bass line and that kind of drives the rest of the level. Yeah. As you can see, we're really trying to merge uh, 2D animation and framing with 3D environments, characters, we're trying to do it in a seamless way where you're, you're maybe not always certain uh, if a scene is created in the 2D animation or is a 3D character. And in these environments, you could find items and inspect them. As you enter the city, you wanted to really play around with perspective and we're inspired by old jazz albums where they have 
they use like simple shapes and repetition of like rectangles mm -hmm. to imply musical notes. Since no man is this kind of like this god jumping into the Big Bang, uh, he doesn't have to walk on the streets. He can just walk down from from space into the city. And here's probably where we really get pretty wild with um, abstract graphical kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, we're, we're also really big fans of comic books and paneling. So to tell the story of no man exploring the city, looking for this mysterious uh, sound that he's following. We uh, wanted to try to condense that. Um, the montage kind of thing. So uh, why don't you talk about the, the technical challenge of like clobbering so, all these different yeah, things together. Um, everything in here is all stacked on top of each other. <laughs> um, yeah, and you, there's an effect that um, just shows a, a rectangle that we can move around at scale and assign specific assets to show only in this rectangle. Um, this is one of my favorite levels to look at in the editor because yeah, every one of these little scenes <laughs> is like all stacked up on top of each other. Yeah. But... It's like the perspective changes and like all the sizes of everything is so different between each scene. Yeah. But I really like that because it enables each of these little comic panels to have depth and the camera to move a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, it just feels a lot more alive when things have that kind of yeah. amount of parallaxing and as opposed to a cutscene montage, it's an actual interactive montage. Yeah. Um, so this is the start of meeting the musician on the train platform. You click on him and he'll play this little intro lick that the subway tie lines animate to. start this, uh, it, it's a Simon Says interaction basically, where the musician plays some notes and you have to play them back. Yeah, living in New York City, we've encountered so many amazing and also terrible buses. Yeah. And the saxophone that you're playing comes from the previous level, one of the previous levels. Yeah. Um, so you'll recognize that when you play the full game. We turn the tables, the player gets to tell the musician what to play. Only the musician kind of takes the notes the player picks and extends the kind of phrase that they make. As opposed to actual notes, they it, it picks which of the sequence that the player played. So it kind of copies and mutates what the player made. You know, it feels like he's he's conversing with you almost. It kind of blows you away here. This was definitely one of the trickiest and most but also most rewarding sections of the game to build. So 
So this little piano roll interaction, you can just kind of wail on it and it matches the scale of the song at any given point. I came up with this idea, but I don't know what spurred it. Oh, I had made a brush for yeah. another interaction. make sound based on the position of your mouse. It just records the position of your mouse over time and how high you go. So it'll kind of have the same rhythm that you picked. Creates a little call and response. Yeah. So yeah, that was our little gameplay footage, uh, which is one of the, the many, many points in the universe that No Man jumps into is he tries to destroy creation. <laughs> um, thanks for so much for checking it out. Yeah, and thanks to the London Game Festival for having us. Uh, it's really exciting. Um, the game is out now. You can check it out on Steam, uh, GOG, Epic Game Store. It's on uh, PC, Mac, uh, Switch, Xbox. Get it now. Yeah. <laughs> thanks so much. Bye. Bye.